welcome to my channel. This is my Q&A style get to know me video where I answer questions that were submitted on my Instagram page. Last week I posted on my Instagram looking for questions from you guys about things that you'd like to know about me or my family or Montessori or whatever you were interested in. So I'm going to answer those questions today and thank you guys so much for everyone that sent in questions and commented. I really appreciate it. It was really fun reading them, although I did try not to read them too much because I wanted to answer honestly and be kind of spur of the moment. So I will get to those in a second, but first I thought I'd give you a little intro about my family. My name is Marie and I am a stay-at-home mom to a two-year-old boy that we call Honey Bun. It's not really his name, but I did call him that for the first six months of his life, so I'm pretty sure he thinks it is his name. But I stay at home with him, and we do Montessori at home. And my husband and I have been together for 12 years. Before we had our son, we adopted our pup over here, who is a cockapoo, and he's about four and a half years old. We live in the rural Midwest, and there's not a ton to do here, but we live kind of a slow, simple life, so we enjoy going to nature centers and going for walks, and Honey Bun and I love going to the library and the local thrift store. So you might be wondering about my name, Mama in the Rain, and that comes from the reputation I've kind of gotten around our small town of being like the crazy lady who's always outside in the rain with her son. I love playing outside with my son. I'm very passionate about rain or shine play, and we're always out there whenever it rains. Anytime it starts pouring rain, we drop whatever we're doing and we run outside and we jump in puddles and we play and we get his boats out, and it's a whole lot of fun, but around here, people seem to think it's pretty weird, and I even had a neighbor bring me out an umbrella that he bought for me because he said he felt really bad that I'm always outside with my son getting wet, <laughs> so he bought me an umbrella. And I did use it that day, but I haven't used it since because I enjoy it. It's fun. I love playing outside with them. So that's why Mom and Lorraine. And that is my family and I in a nutshell. If there's anything I don't answer today that you guys are wondering, put it in the comments below or head over to Instagram at Mama and Lorraine is my screen name and you can send me a DM and I'd be happy to answer anything for you. But I will go ahead now and answer the questions that were submitted on Instagram. Question one. What is your favorite Montessori material? I feel like everyone probably says this, this or the pink tower. I feel like a lot of people like the pink tower. We don't have one yet, so. My favorite would have to be just practical life materials. I love including honey bun in daily life activities, cooking, cleaning, stuff like that. As far as like an actual item, I would have to say right now, it would be a new wooden um, food chopper that we got him. It's just like a wooden chopper. Um, I tried a wavy chopper with him and it was a little sharp, so I got a wooden one for him for Christmas and he loves it and he chops vegetables and fruits and whatever else. So that one has been a lot of fun. So that would be my favorite at the moment. How do you think following the Montessori philosophy has benefited your family? Wow. That's a big one. Um, a lot of different ways, obviously, but if I had to sum it up, I would say it's made us a more connected and respecting equal family. I feel like we work together as a team now, whereas if we hadn't discovered Mont Montessori, we may not have been that way, you know, more traditional way of raising him. But since we raise our son to be an equal member of the family, and treat all of our jobs and work in the home, you know, all of our responsibilities as equal and important, even if they look different, I feel like it's brought us all together. You know, we're more of a team now. We work together, we, you know, cook together, we clean together. And yeah, I, I think it's made us a really tight unit. Oh, my foot is asleep. Okay, <laughs> question three. What is your favorite hobby or favorite activity to do with your kiddo? Favorite hobby? Um, I would have to say baking. I love to bake. My son has a lot of food allergies, so baking has become a new challenge than, you know, harder than it used to be um, because of all the substitutions I have to use. But it's been nice, it's kind of, it's kind of reignited that baking fire that I had <laughs> and made it more interesting. So I'm learning, I'm learning to adjust and you know make things differently but i love to bake i love growing flowers i love gardening i haven't tried many vegetables yet but before honey bun was born i actually had a huge flower garden um in a very small area in a rented house that we had 
and I grew them to design with. I did some floral design for several years and I tried doing some kind of on my own. I did some in flower shops, but actually when I was about, I was eight months pregnant with Honey Bun and I was huge and I was having prodromal labor, which is where you have contractions for months before you even have the baby. And I did my sister-in-law's wedding. I did all the flowers, the tables, the bouquets, everything, which was insane. And thank God for my husband. <laughs> he helped a lot, but it was so much fun. And I would really love to do that again sometime. But at the moment, we've lived in this house two years. I don't have a whole lot growing. So this spring I'm planning on growing a lot more and maybe branching out to vegetables, we'll see. But um, uh, what was the other question? <laughs> Your favorite activity to do with your kid. Sorry, I got talking about me. Um, my favorite activity to do with honey bun baking. We love to read, playing in the rain, obviously, and going outside. Uh, reading is really fun because we get really silly with it. We make up voices and we come up with games while we're reading, so that one's really fun. What kind of videos do you plan on making for your channel? Um, I'm hoping to do a lot of Montessori at home videos. Um, mindfulness is something I'm really passionate about. Um, positive discipline, respectful parenting. I do a lot of DIY stuff, so I'm hoping to do some DIY videos and maybe some vlogging, I'm not sure. Um, and mental health stuff I'm really, you know, really passionate about, you know, postpartum issues, so maybe I'll do something on that. I'm not really sure, we'll kind of see where it goes. What did you do pre-child? Interests, fun, education. Um, pre-child, I was really busy. While I was growing flowers and stuff in my backyard, I was working full-time at an insurance company and I did work from home for a while but that is not as fun as it sounds because you're basically on house arrest and you can't do anything you're just chained to your computer um, but I don't know and um, we didn't do a lot we just kind of hung out watched movies watched shows so yeah kind of boring <laughs> education um, I did I went to community college and then I did a couple semesters at a university um, but I studied a variety of things. I first did English and then um, biology and environmental studies. And then lastly, I did um, childhood, early childhood development. I wanted to be a teacher, which now that I've discovered Montessori, and I'll say what all the people who discover Montessori say, and like, I'd love to be a Montessori teacher, so who knows. When and how did you go to Montessori? Um, I discovered Montessori, actually first I discovered Rye Parenting, which I think stands for, I forget to be honest, I think it stands for like Respectful Infant Educators, I don't remember. My son had always been a super happy, calm baby, and then at seven months old he just started having crazy tantrums all the time, and I was going out of my mind, I was like, I didn't even know a seven month old could have tantrums like this, and I was like, I need help. <laughs> so I got online, did research, and I discovered the Janet Lansbury podcast, and it was on there that she interviewed somebody about Montessori. When I heard it, it was like a light bulb. I was like, this is what I've been waiting for. This is the kind of parenting I've always wanted to do. I just didn't know how to do it. So I was really happy. I think I made all the same kind of first timer mistakes that everyone else does when they discover Montessori. I was like, we have too many toys. We have too many play pens. We have too many swings. I just didn't know how to like incorporate it. And I didn't know how to make my house look like the pictures on Pinterest. <laughs> but thankfully, after reading a lot of books and doing a lot of research, I discovered that, you know, Montessori is much more about the philosophy, about the way you talk to your child, the way you treat them, the, you know, the encouraging them to have the love of learning and responsibility and things like that. So we changed up our house slowly. And it's still, it's a still work in progress. So that is how we discovered Montessori. What do you enjoy doing alone if you have some me time? Cliche, I don't get much me time, but when I do, um, I, what do I love to do? I don't keep saying it, I love to bake. I like cooking. Um, although cooking is one of those things that's like in theory, I really love cooking but I have to do it all day long and it gets really boring really fast. So I do like it, but um, what else do I do? I, guess for a while there, if I got some me time, I just close the bathroom door and took a bubble bath. 
I had never discovered bubble baths until I was an adult, and I couldn't believe how relaxing they were. So I liked doing that, and I would put on a movie, and my husband would watch my son. I haven't done that in a while. I should do that again. <laughs> um, I also love, oh, this is kind of nerdy, but I love computer games. I don't get to play them much, but my husband got me into computer games, and if anyone knows what Skyrim is, I'm like addicted to Skyrim. Um, so that's what I like to do in my free time. What do you like to read? I like to read, I love nonfiction books. Um, I'm really into World War II and history. I love parenting books. My favorite series, um, I have two favorite series. One is uh, The Witcher, which is like, a, this is a popular video game, but it was a novel first. And um, I wanna go into explanation, it's kind of nerdy, but I like The Witcher series. And I love, there's this, there's this really old series um, called The Tales of Grace Chapel Inn. There's like 60 books and it's about these three middle-aged ladies who are sisters and they start a bed and breakfast and it's like this most wholesome, feel-goody, small town books ever, but I really like them. <laughs> and lastly, what are some of your favorite Montessori or parenting resources? I love to read parenting books. Um, the Montessori Toddlers are a really good one. I'm working my way through Maria Montessori's books, which are a bit dry, but they're really interesting. Uh, podcasts, um, Jean-Marie Pinel and Simone Davis's show, I think it's called The Montessori Show, um, on YouTube is amazing. Um, and blogs and Instagram is hugely inspirational, so uh, those would be my favorite. So that is a little bit about me. Thank you so much for watching and thank you, thank you to everyone who sent in questions. This was a lot of fun to make. If you have any ideas for future videos you'd like to see, let me know down below. Um, I did upload a few at the same time, that way you could kind of get a feel for what my channel is going to be like, but I'm always looking for content ideas. Um, check out my Instagram at Mama in the Rain. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye!